everyone, Eternia here, and today guys, we're going to be doing a first attempt at the high score challenge. Now, I have not been in here at all, so I really don't know what to expect, so I'm basically just trying to go in there with the max amount of percentage possible. Which, unfortunately, the only medals that give you percentage are the new medals, which actually, I forgot about Ventus. I can technically throw Ventus on here as well. But I don't think I'm going to right now, just because um, I don't think I'll be able to do enough damage if I put Ventus on here. So, I'm just gonna go in here with my two uh, illustrated Roxas medals and a friend illustrated Roxas medal, and we're going to see what happens. And like I said, I haven't been in here at all, so I have no idea what to expect. Okay, so it looks like you can choose your path. And in this scenario, I'm definitely choosing magic. It's actually been a while since we've had one of these where you can choose your own path. Which is really kind of nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep going this way. And for these weaker enemies, I am just going to use Cage 2 Illustrated Kyrie. And I'm sure one thing that you guys have probably noticed, I did actually get lucky enough to roll an extra attack on my uh, Cage 2 Illustrated Kyrie. Because uh, when that banner was still around, I did do some more pulls off camera. No, I never did get my other Cage 2 Illustrated Sora. So that was a little bit disappointing. But in the end, it kind of made up for it when I got extra attack on my Cage 2 Illustrated Kyrie. So I really wasn't that upset about it. Okay, so we're starting to get into a little bit of stronger enemy territory here. And depending on how strong these enemies are, I really honestly might have to come back in here with a different setup. Ooh! Illustrated Roxas attack is kind of fancy. Okay, so anything over this way? No, it doesn't look like it, so let's go ahead. Ooh, ooh, level 500. Yeah, I might have to come back in here with a different setup. But for now, I definitely wanted to, at, ver at the very least, try it with this setup. I'm going to skip the two Roxas medals here. Okay, so I think I still should be able to take care of this. I'm going to go ahead and max out my speed attack here. And let's hope it's enough damage. Okay, it was enough damage to take care of that. But I'm not so sure about the gummy copter there. I think all that's left after this is the target enemy, though. Ooh. Yeah, with that 15 bars of health. I might have to come back in here with, um, Mickey, Donald, and, uh, Goofy. Although, I wonder if my Nova's gonna be enough alongside, uh, Sephiroth here. Probably not, but let's see. Ooh. 
Okay, please. <laughs> okay, good. I was a little bit worried, but thankfully, um, that was enough to take it out. And I'm just gonna kind of scan the area real quick to make sure that I didn't miss any enemies. I don't think I did, though. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through here. And yes, that was it. So it looks like I was actually able to go through it with this particular setup. I might be able to get a few more points if I use um, my illustrated Ventus, but I'm not sure if I can do enough damage to defeat that level 500 gummy copter. But let's see what we get, because I actually didn't see what the max amount of points were needed to get everything here. Alright, so I think it capped out at 4 million, uh, 450 million points. Okay, so I'm going to take a look here and we're going to find out... if the game loads. Okay, so what are the rewards here? Okay, so no. <laughs> I do need a little bit of extra points. There was one more for the Mickey and Minnie Mouse two medals. So I definitely need to try and get that up a little bit. And cool, right now I am 154 and the rewards are through top 1000 so I definitely need to see if I can get those extra uh, 300,000 points that way I can get the last two medals so I can guilt it well anyway guys thank you so much for watching and take care bye